Greetings from Largo, Florida. Fat Yakker coming at you. Beautiful day. Little Sea Ghost 130 update. As you can see, I got a trailer. Any of you guys with a Sea Ghost 130 kind of understand that these boats are not light in any way, shape, or form, especially if you have any kind of stuff on it. So, I was car topping it on my Toyota RAV4 in which I've done a little bit of damage to it. Scratches, dents. So if you're car topping a Seaghost 130 on a SUV and you have the means, get a trailer. Once again, thank you to Daniel, Kayak Hub, Tampa, with the hookup. It's a great guy. You should go down and see him if you're around there. So, I've had this boat for a couple of months now. Freshwater, saltwater, brackish water, Crystal River, intercoastal waterway. Now, I have installed a Garmin Striker 4 fish finder. I'd like to show that to you guys now. Oh, I also got a little Bluetooth speaker fits on there pretty nicely. So anyways, Garmin Striker 4 fish finder. Okay, so I've watched a lot of videos and I've seen all kind of people with all kind of mounts and everything else. Yak Attack, Rail Blaza, so on and so forth. Alright, so I'm spending quite a little bit of money on gears and gadgets and everything for this boat. So I tend to overthink things. So this time I did not. So this is what I did. If you see here, this is the mount that came with the Garmin. All I did was cut off the bungee cords here on the front little hatch. Now, as you guys can see, these hatches have a waterproof bag in them. So, putting any holes in the tops of these little hatches here isn't really going to be a big deal. So, I just put the mount there and ran the wires for the battery straight into the console here. This is waterproof, I guess, waterproof-ish. So the battery's in here. This piece came with the Garmin. So just screwed that on there. Now, as you can see, the transducer. This is the hole that came in the boat. Now, this thing right here, all it is is a piece of a kayak cart that I had. And I'll show you that. I just took one of these off, one of these rubber pieces, and I cut it right down the side and just jammed it in the hole. Okay, so that being said, it took me all of 15 or 20 minutes to put this fish finder on the boat. I mean, it was really, really easy, and I tend to overthink things, so I made it very simple. 12-volt battery, and as a matter of fact, I just bought a regular 12-volt battery for like 10 bucks, just to test it, and it works. Let's see if you can see it. It's dark, I don't know if you can see it. Yep, there you go, right there. So as you can see, It is working. And that's a pretty simple shot. I mean, like I said, the battery is inside here. Obviously, everybody knows that the transducer goes in underneath the boat. And um, all the excess cable, I just wrapped around the transducer itself and used zip ties. Very simple. Very, very easy. I was surprised I could do it myself. Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder. Seaghost 130. 
This is the Fat Yacker. Thank you for viewing, all eight of you. Maybe you'll have some more people. But this is my Sea Ghost 130. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I know I will. Living in Florida, native Floridian. Everybody take care. See ya.